We have four kills. We have four kills. Mostly we stole those kills from our teammates by being a good team player and supporting our team. Alright guys, good morning. Mr. G back bringing you more cross out and today we have another build I worked on over the holiday. We've got the Reaper Heavy. Um, this thing, as you can see, uses the chassis that we used on Big Mama, which is internally mounted steering wheels, large, in front and back, uh, which raise the hardened tracks off the ground. So the hardened tracks just add tonnage and armor at this point, and we're able to still turn on a dime. Um, and then we've got the Reapers on the top. Um, I played around yesterday with mounting them on the side, um, you know, so that you don't lose them both from cannon strikes to the center. I didn't like it. I just, I tried to play it, but it was too hard to get both guns on target all the time. And I just, I didn't like it. They threw a fit. I didn't like it. So what do we got in here? We got Apollo, uh, which we didn't mount under the frame. Um, just this, this chassis is a little bit hard to make. So we didn't have room to fit it under there. So we do have a couple radiators under there and some ammo. We've got a chameleon. And we went with the hot red. Um, I usually go cheetah, but for this build, I just wanted all the energy I could get into keeping the reapers cool, which is what I, I've gotten used to doing, is having it like at least you know two radiators on these guys. So that's what we did, and okay, let's test it out. And the speed, you know, we don't get the recharge bonus on the cloak that I like from the cheetah. But uh, we got 800 rounds in this thing, and like you can see, just like Big Mama, those hardened tracks are not touching, and she turns on a dime, which is so handy. I mean, it's just, how many times in battle is someone behind you or to the side of you bothering you? And the whole front of this thing is it's just spaced armor. There's nothing important up there. Nothing important, and we can shoot this thing for, oh my goodness, nearly, yeah, 100 rounds without overheating. So we were able to just take out 2,000 structure in one go without overheating. And this is also the highest power score build I've ever made. It is coming in at 12,346. I think I actually had it up to 12,500. Uh, earlier I just had some more structure on it. But uh, we went with some more vanity items here. So we got the reputation bonus up to 23% on this one. Not quite max, but close. Let's test her out in battle. All right, guys, here we go. We gotta stick with the team and do support. Mid-range support. Cloak and shoot. You got this, Mr. G, you got this. Pay attention, you've had your coffee. Check your radar. Oh, my cloaking time. Oh, this guy's already down. He's toast. Oh, let's see if we can take out Mr. Hover Boy. I just feel like that's a Reaper job. It's to take out Hover. We can put put the herd out. Spread it around and hit moving targets. It's like anti-aircraft guns. Of course, Reapers are also great at anti-everything guns. Sticking with the team, though. This team knows what they're doing, maybe. It's a cool... It's like a Hummer. It's a little Hummer. Cloak, spin around. Who's shooting us in the rear? God, I love how fast this thing turns around. Saved my bacon more than one occasion. Where was that enemy? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? All right, let's keep it mid-range here. Apologies, guys. I don't know what it is. I'm like allergic to something. Getting sick again. I will be happy when winter is over. No longer sound like death warmed over for y'all. Yeah, oh my goodness. Tsunamis to the face. Cloaking. Getting another target. And moving. The nice thing about the cloak is it keeps you safe while your Reapers warm up. We're gonna get a closer range target though, so that we don't get chewed up at range by Tsunami. Oh, let's get this guy's Reaper off. Let's do it. Let's do it. He's done. <laughs> There you go. Now we're working like a team. It's a little Hummer dude. Let's even run it. Oh god. Cannon boy here. Let's take off his frame and get rid of the tsunamis. Yep. 
That's been the meta lately, the tsunamis on a fast quantum cab build. At least at this power score. You see a lot of those. We have four kills. We have four kills. Mostly we stole those kills from our teammates by being a good team player and supporting our team. This guy's build. It's adorable. Adorable little turret dropper hummer. Finish him off though. Blow up that engine. Engine, blow up. Oh my goodness, we got killed by turrets before we could get kill number five. Big Frodo boss. I love this guy. This guy's got a very heavy build for running two little boys. He's got something else under the hood, I don't. Alright guys. Well, looks like our team is going to evenly spread out this time. Yeah, so I've tried the legs. Now this guy's got space armor and spider legs going. It's the step spider, but it's just... It feels like wheels are just better. It's just the speed. You just can't get the speed. Alright, it's cloak and shoot time, folks. Let's at least get around the corner here. Support our teammate. Get rid of this guy. Boom. And turn our butts back around. Get back on target and get out of range of missiles. Oh, we gotta keep that back end protected. How do the missiles even come from there? I don't even know. I gotta try some hurricanes out. I really do. I don't think they're OP. I just you see them a lot at this power score, and I find it easier to counter weapons that I understand because I've played them. You know their weaknesses. You know what I mean. Been selling quantum cabs like nobody's business. All anybody seems to want to run. For that and the step spider. Let's get around the other side, folks. Alright, so now that we've lost some wheels, you can see that our hardened tracks are coming in handy as secondary secondary movement devices. Well, that's gonna cut into our turn rate though. But we're still combat functional, and that's what matters. Oh my god. I don't want to mess with this guy until his shield is done. So let's spool up those guns. Ram that hover. Shoot this guy. Oh, don't, don't knock us over. Don't knock us over. Let's take out hover boy. And... Boom. There we go. That's how it's done, folks. Working with the team. Okay, guys. It is build recap time. Once again, just like the big mama, pros of this build, turn rate. Uh, pro is also structure at 2,445, a whole pile of structure. Cons, uh, reapers mounted together so that they can both be taken out by cannon blasts, getting degunned. Overall size is big, uh, that the engine doesn't give us a bonus to recharging our cloak. Those are cons for this build, but otherwise she's pretty good. She's my highest highest power score build. I use this thing for PvE, for missions, raids, whatever. I like her. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, show me what you're building on our Discord. See that in the channel description. And that's it for today. Throw us a sub, throw us a like. I make these things every day. Mr. G out.